Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, as you see today, I'm not alone. I am with someone called Colors. Do you want to say hello? Yo, what up? I'm Colors, and I'm uh, D Boy's friend. Uh, we're gonna tell you a little bit about a little story. We've got. So, like you said, we when was this? So this was February 2018. We're in sixth form together at the school we went to, and we both went on a computer science trip to Silicon Valley in California. So. We are there, we're chilling. So let's give it, how was the trip going before this event happened? Before, um, I don't know if this was pre or post drama that we had. Um, oh. There was a small amount of drama we had on that trip. Okay. A bit stupid in retrospect, but you know, there was a little bit of drama we had over just nothing pretty much. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we'd go to Westfield every single day. It was actually kind of depressing because all the food courts were the exact same in every single Westfield and all the shops were the exact same, even though it was a different place. Hot dog depressing. on a stick. Hot dog, Hot on, dog a stick. on a stick. Just <laughs> everywhere. Hot dog on a stick, bro. And, and also Panda Express, which wasn't bad actually, to be fair, Panda Express. It was okay. We got a nice Chipotle one time, didn't we? Yeah, but I don't know whether that was in the... Uh, Westfield. You we got, we got the Taco Bell in the end. I was excited for that. Yeah, we, we, we went flames. to quite a few places, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we hit all yeah, the fast food. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good trip, basically, but there was there was an event, as you see from the title, embarrassing ourselves in front of a billionaire. And this isn't clickbait. We're going to tell you now how it actually happened. So, basically, we'd gone to... Where was it? We, we went to the University of Berkeley, this prestigious university in the United States. After, so we'd gone to this university and it was, someone was given a presentation on nanotechnology, which is basically where you put small chips in your computer and your phone to make them, it's, it's just a process of how it works. They used to be massive, they're making them smaller and smaller until you can't even see them. But they're that, literally that's what moving atoms. Literally. literally moving atoms around. Right, yeah. It's, it's incredible, yeah. thinking back to it, how they actually do that. It's, yeah, and what, what, was the, uh, what was the school trip for? It was for computer science, right? So that's why we went to this uh, nanotechnology thing, because it's about computer science. Uh, yeah. Me and Donny Boy did computer science in sixth form, so uh, yeah. that's where we went. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't all hot dogs on sticks. There was some education involved <laughs> as well, but... Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're, we're sitting in this big... This big lecture hall, there's about 100 seats and then a stage and a big projection screen. And on the screen there is this, um, one of the producers of the nanotechnology, this very wealthy guy bordering on a billionaire, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, he, I wouldn't be surprised if he was, like, he was, yeah. he was smart and he was posh and he was wearing a hazmat suit, so... <laughs> yeah, that, that, that is a big key in this story. He's wearing a full hazmat suit, so we can only see a tiny bit of his face. But nevertheless, we're all sitting here, complete silence, listening to this guy. And out of nowhere, do you want to tell them what you whispered in my ear? Just completely out of nowhere. <laughs> I, I whispered in his ear. Well, slap my ass and call me Shirley. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> something to that effect, but a lot more vulgar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that, like, you know... Uh, tying, tying people to trees was involved, but it was like in a southern accent in that high pitched thing, and I, I whispered right. this to him. So, um, so in in Collar's mind, he's thinking, right? He's just said this. I've probably heard this before. It's just a fun little joke. I'll probably be like, eh, and carry on with the presentation. <laughs> Let me take you into my mind when he said this. I'm sitting there, I've never heard this happen before, I've never heard these expressions, and I just hear this, and my mind is, laughter is pouring in my face, my cheeks have exploded, my face is completely red, I am holding in laughter with everything I can, basically, and I just cannot understand how, you, I can't put across in words how funny I found this. This was just the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. So, five minutes rolls by and I have managed to keep it in and they say, all right, you can go to the canteen, presentation's over, we go to the toilet. And so, so tell, tell them what happens in the toilet. This is probably the biggest part of the whole story now. Okay, so we're going for a wee, yeah? Nothing suspicious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I walk in first, I go to the urinal, I start doing my business. Don walks in behind me, okay? Yeah. 
He is losing it, okay? <laughs> he is screaming, okay? He is going absolutely <laughs> mental. He's laughing so hard. And he's shouting. I'm like wondering, why is he laughing? Like, what's going on? And then he shouts, Slap my ass and call me Shirley! <laughs> you know, he shouts that as loud as he can, okay? And then I'm laughing now as well, because he's just shouting that. I completely <laughs> forgot I said this. Like, I just thought we were over that a long time ago. But he's going for it, okay? Okay, and obviously I finished peeing. I'm done before him. I turn around and I see there's a guy stood there. He's just come out of the cubicle, and I'm like, uh, I haven't, I haven't uh, seen this at this point. I'm still facing yeah, forward. Yeah, he's still, he's still weird. Um, and I'm like, Don, Don, stop now. But he can't hear me. He's still laughing and still shouting it. And this random dude's like stood there. So I wash my hands. Uh, yeah. He turns around, notices, and he's like, oh shit. And then, uh, oh, sorry for swearing. Um, sorry. <laughs> he's like, oh damn. And then we wash our hands and we walk out. Oh, and we're like, oh god, that was embarrassing. Um, yeah. But we we passed that. We passed that. And we walk away, right? We we've taken yeah. it on the chin. It's 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 fine. We we've understood that we've embarrassed ourselves in in front of some random guy. So we're thinking it's all done. So we walk back into the lecture hall. <sighs> Let me just take a moment. We walk back into the lecture hall. And someone has come in behind us, we think it's another student, there's a presence behind us. <laughs> and the teachers turn to all of us, and they say, let me introduce you to Mr. I forgot his name, the, the well-acclaimed multi-millionaire slash billionaire developer of this nanotechnology. The man who was in the toilet, who had just heard all of this, walks up onto the stage. This, this, <laughs> this guy who'd be going to the toilet with, we'd just been, but well, what I had, we'd just been bursting out with these profanities, these expressions. He walks up on the stage. Oh, the tension. The tension. His eyes oh. are just looking. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he, he was the guy who was in the hazmat and he was like, he spent a good like hour of his time walking around in a hazmat suit in some nanotechnology lab telling us all about nanotechnology. He comes to meet us and he meets two dickheads, <laughs> sorry, uh, little idiots going, yeah. slap my ass and call me Shirley. <laughs> 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 and uh, that's, that's how we embarrass ourselves, really, isn't it? <laughs> so, just to recap, yeah, like you said, hour-long presentation, 55 minutes of it, extremely interesting. The last five, pure euphoria. We go into the toilet, um, pure embarrassment in front of some guy who we thought, okay, just some random guy at the university. We find out he was this billionaire developer of nanotechnology who we've just come into his home and made well, fun. Not literally, but... Not, not his actual home, but <laughs> the place, the place he... Yeah, and... And his university. We thought this lab was, like, probably somewhere out in Arkansas or something, like, in the country, because it looks like... They had, like, airlocks, yeah. and they had these, the, like, um... What's it called? Sanitation rooms and stuff. It, exactly, and, like, it's, it's, um... We thought when we watched his presentation, we didn't think it was in the university. We thought this was miles away somewhere. But... Yeah, that's what happened basically, guys. So, yeah, yeah embarrassing it was literally ourselves. around the corner. Yeah. Oh, man. If we could go back in time, would I change it? I wouldn't. I, because if I had never <laughs> heard if I'd never have heard those expressions, it would have been a part of my life which wouldn't have been as good as I wanted it to be. So, <laughs> so yeah, thank it's you definitely for that, a highlight. Guys. It was a highlight. Um before we thank go, you, thank you too. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm I'm glad you come on the channel. Before before we go, what would you say was the best part of that trip, apart from that situation? Um, so the one with the girl in the lecture hall that was pretty funny. Um, I don't think we spoke about it in here. Okay, so this is one of them. Okay, this is to do with this guy. Okay, we're sat there in this lecture hall, and there's this uh, uh, American, half Russian, half American girl sat next to him, and yeah. then. Um, sat between us is this guy this tall dude in glasses yeah he's okay. he's, he's, he's like, this girl's friend yeah so they're friends and we're all sat together as a group because we met right um yeah. this guy asked the girl for his snapchat her snapchat he gets it smooth right okay the guy next to me and like in between us yeah he turns and he goes oh don do you want my snapchat as well <laughs> And he just completely blanks him. He doesn't even say no thanks or like anything like that. He just goes, he just puts his phone in his pocket and goes, 
<laughs> that, that's it. That's all he did. like. I just cannot believe what I witnessed. Like to this day, this is one of the most just insane things I've ever seen happen. This first one right. is involving our drama, and basically, um, just not to give anything away, I'll censor the names. This was basically the end of the. This was basically the end of the argument when we stopped talking. So there was this girl at our school, um, and I won't say her name, and basically one of Colwyn's insults towards me was, this girl, when she first met you, said you looked like something. I'm not going to say oh, because oh yeah. because I don't think it's true, but w whether it is or not, and I was like, and I was like, you know what? If Dude, you got to say it. No, no, I'm not say saying it. it. I'm not saying it. It's horrible. <laughs> But basically, oh, basically she said I looked like that, and then basically I said something to the respect of, like, oh, I, I don't care what she thinks, look at her, basically. And then Colwyn's finishing line, which finished everything off, and put me to bed. <laughs> well, you don't have to be the Prime Minister to judge, do you? <laughs> So I'm inside. I'm losing it, but because we've had an argument, I'm trying to keep a straight face. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get to <laughs> But inside, I'm losing it completely. And I'm like, wow. What? I'm like, oh. all right. You, you told me. You told me. I get. <laughs> that that brings me that on. Happens. That brings me on to another a funny moment. Basically, we're driving down the road. I think we're in Hollywood somewhere on our coach, and we see a sign called Bush Avenue. And me and college point at the sign, and we're like. <laughs> Bush, <laughs> for obvious reasons, <laughs> and we're both laughing. And one of the teachers turns around, and um, basically she looks at us. She's, she's an like, older one. She's an older one, and she's like, "Oh, you two are just like Beavis and Butthead, aren't you?" <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, I guess it's true. Oh man, Dude, yeah. Oh, oh no, yeah. The teacher, you know, the one with the long hair, the the handsome one. Uh, yeah. We drove, drove past this uh, bar on Hate Avenue, I think it was in San Francisco and it was yeah. called the Squat Gobble and uh, he was like I'll be seeing you boys there later tonight yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty funny yeah, yeah. we don't have to we don't have to explain why you guys can no, work we it don't. out you, yourselves yeah <laughs> yeah but but yeah I think we're gonna call it there Collis thank you so much for coming on the channel and helping me tell this story obviously it was an extremely embarrassing story but we finished it off with some fun moments so it's it's all good yeah. but but yeah do you want to say anything before we sign out no no <laughs> no, you're all good. no. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me uh, thanks you're for welcome having me on your channel uh, you're welcome it's been fun I'll put but a link to we'll his play channel Geo in the description. Yeah, we'll play you know, GeoGuessr in the future for sure. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. We're on 24 subs, yeah? If someone gets us 25, we'll be a quarter of the way to 100. And if I get to 100, I'm going to eat a ghost chili on the channel. So get me there, guys. Dude, share it with that's your friends. A low, that's a low thing. That's a low goal. Do a thousand. Nah, a nah, thousand man, for a ghost chili. Nah, I'm gonna do it a hundred thousand, I'll do like ten of them or something, but <laughs> never on those. Dude, <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'd just like to point this out. Yeah, Here we go. Go. No, go. No, go on, what are you gonna no, say? I'm never eating a ghost chili, that's all I was gonna say. <laughs> Alright, well we'll see about that. We'll try and make it happen. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> Peace.